Good afternoon, Mr. Trudeau. Travis Danrash, CBC News. I, I, I know that you've said that you understand people are upset and that you're not going to back down on your message. I just witnessed a, a black member of the security detailed racially attacked and called a disgusting slur. A female officer was subjected to misogynistic slurs. There were death threats against you hurled in this crowd. So I'm just wondering, what is the bar here in terms of what you'll subject yourself to and your staff to? And what if somebody gets hurt? Because of all of this. First of all, I want to take a moment to thank the extraordinary police officers, uh, local and national, who do an amazing job in both keeping people safe and allowing Canadians to express themselves. That's what an election is all about. We may disagree with them, and of course, we will always condemn violence and hatred. Indeed, we've strengthened uh, the laws and rules around that over the past years and will continue to do as we step up on the fight against systemic discrimination. But this needs to make us ever more convinced of the importance of the choice in this election. Do we fall into division and hatred and racism and violence? Or do we say, no, you know what? That doesn't work to get us to back down. That won't scare Canadians from standing up for what's right. And I know Canadians. I've met with people from coast to coast to coast. And if you threaten them with violence and try to scare them away from what's right, we double down and we move forward into the future we know our kids and grandkids deserve. Écoutez, je veux prendre d'abord un moment pour take remercier. A moment to thank all these peace officers and locals and nationals that are there, not only to protect the media, my team and myself, but also protect Canadians, including the Canadians that want to be heard during this election. Because it's important that we continue uh, to be heard, but we will always refuse to accept and condemn the violence, the racism, the intolerance, the aggression, and, but understand that all the threat of violence to try to scare to candidates, to scare Canadians, that won't work. I know Canadians all my life. I've been seeing them across the country, and I know that nobody will back down of what we must do because there are some bullies that are trying to scare them. It's not what we are. Stepped up time and time again to get through long winters, to fight in World War I and World War II, to fight every day for a better future for our kids with all the choices we make. Canadians won't back down, and neither will I.